All right, done for the day. Uh, I was busy interviewing uh, potential interns for the company. And here's what we did in the past week, all right? Because normally every once in a while, we'll be looking for interns to come and join the company. And I had success looking for them without much effort because I was just going through my own network of friends, posting on my personal Facebook profile and things like that. But as time went on, it became harder and harder because my immediate social circle become uh, exhausted and finding new interns became harder and harder. So this gave birth to the idea of using Facebook ads to look for interns. All right. Now, I wasn't sure about how it's going to work because when I looked on Google or, or YouTube, I noticed that most of the Facebook ads was about how to use Facebook ads to look for uh, full-time employees. So I basically repurposed and reinvent the wheel a little bit, uh, but with the express purpose of looking and hiring interns instead. And what can I say? In the past week, we spent less than $40, $38 to be exact, and we got in 10 applications, all right? And we don't need so many interns, we just need like a, a couple of them and that's it, all right? Maybe that's what uh, you're feeling about at the moment as well. So if you're looking for interns uh, and you wanna use Facebook ads to do it, then I think this is something you're gonna look forward to. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how it's done or how we did it, and let me know if this works for you too, okay? So I'm gonna switch over to my computer and I'll show you what we did to get interns through Facebook ads. Right now we are in my ads manager account and you're looking at particularly the ad sets for uh, this campaign that we're looking for interns, all right? And we ran this for a week and we got about, say about 10 applications. Yep, about there, we got 10 applications here. Uh, that's kind of more than enough what we're looking for, but depending on how many you want to look for, then uh, that's totally up to you. But based on the math that we're doing here right now, we spent about close to $40 and with 10 applications, uh, that means one application is less than $4. Now, this is not to say that you're gonna get the same results. You might uh, be able to get it cheaper or, or a little bit higher, that's okay. Because I think at the end of the day, if you're looking for interns for your uh, company or your business, uh, you can use Facebook ads to do just that. And I just proved it. And like I said, uh, I wasn't able to find any other videos uh, that show how it was done. Uh, most of them were about how to use Facebook ads to look for uh, full-time employees. But I guess with a little bit of uh, tweak in your targeting and uh, how you present it, and a little bit of internet marketing ingenuity, you too can do it. Okay, so I've written a text document here, a real quick uh, set of notes on what to prepare and how to do it. So before we get started, there are things that you already need to have. Okay, I'm not going to cover those in this video, or else it's going to take too long. And there's really a lot of uh, free content or free videos out there that shows you how to do this. So number one, you need to have a business account rather than a personal ad account. Uh, that's a given. Secondly, you must already have a Facebook fan page for your company. Again, that's a given as well. And then you had already set up a Facebook pixel on your uh, business or company website. And this is going to be important. We're going to need it afterwards. Once again, uh, all this is already free information. You can just Google it or find it on YouTube, all right? So let's get started, shall we? Right now, the first step is that you need to create your internship invitation page. So this is what mine looks like right now. Uh, this changes every once in a while, but with very little variation. Now, writing an internship invitation page is just like writing a sales letter because at the end of the day, you want to get a call to action and you want to get a commitment. So this is what my internship page looks like. It's uh, short and simple in nature. And a tip I want to share you really quick is that it does help adding a personal video like this. When I added this video, I noticed the applications got in a little bit higher and better. In fact, I would say that's significant to be exact because before this it was a little bit slow, there was no video there. And when I added a three minute video, then I noticed applications were coming in. So I do recommend that you put in a short video of some kind and just be personal about it. As you can see, it's just me talking about the internship opportunity and I just spoke for like two or three minutes. And it does help so that people know that this is not some impersonal uh, company hiding behind a, a, a mask or, or uh, trying to be who they're not. All right. So this is how I wrote my invitation. It's just like writing a sales letter. You want to give them good reasons why they should come and join you uh, and why not somewhere else. All right. And if you have testimonials, this would be a good time to add as well. But if you don't have it, that's okay. I didn't have testimonials here all this while. 
So if you had interns from the past, you can get their testimony and just add it here. So this does add a bit more social proof. Okay, but I'm not saying this is so important, but it will be a bonus. And then finally, you want to have a call to action, get them to apply right now. So I use wufu.com to create my forms, like the one you're seeing here right now. So I ask very simple questions. I just ask for their name, email, uh, phone number, so we can give them a call, their address, where they're staying, uh, some internship uh, details, in intended length of internship, normally I would just put three months or four to six months, but I'll tell you most of the time people will choose three months, right? So you want to give them an option. And this space over here is to give them the opportunity to explain to them why they want to work with you and why are they choosing to intern with you so they know that they're not just fitting it for the fun of it. So this helps you a little bit better with qualification. And finally, how did they hear about it? So you can put a few options here. But you do it right, most of them should be selecting social media with us. That's how they hear about you. And then they'll click submit. Okay. So that means you will need to have an internship invitation page and of course uh, a wufu.com uh, form to put a form there so that you can get applications in. There are many other types of form builders out there, but I like wufu. I think it's one of the best out there. And finally, you have a thank you page where basically it's just uh, a page like this. Thank you for your submission and we'll get back to you very soon. So it's a very simple uh, page, all right? So there's nothing much to it. I'll leave this up to your creativity. And if you have written copy before, this would really, really help. So that's the first thing. And secondly, now steps two to five is gonna involve you using your Facebook account, all right? So we're gonna go through this step by step. Now let's talk about your uh, pixels. And like I said earlier, you need to have your pixel ready to go. So in this ad account, I already have uh, the pixels created. If you don't have, you just create one. So this is for my company here. I'm gonna click on it. Since this pixel was already created, you'll wanna do one for yourself as well. Now, what I want you to do is go to this thing called settings. And then I want you to create this thing called uh, create custom conversion. So this is how we're gonna be able to measure the number of leads coming in uh, who've taken specific action on your uh, website. Okay, so you select the, if you have more than one pixel, obviously select the right pixel. Uh, general event, let's, let's just call it a, a lead, all right? That's exactly what it is. So every, every, every uh, intern who signed up is considered a lead. That, that's, that's what it is, okay? So you need to key in the, the address of your internship page. So in this case, this is mine, all right? And then I'm gonna add uh, another rule, okay? And this is going to be the thank you page of the website. So this is going to be your uh, next page. Okay, so in this case, I'm just typing it out from memory. I'm not sure whether this is correct or not, but I'm not going to actually create it because I've already done it. Okay, so it has to match this and this. And then Facebook knows that a lead has been generated. Okay, now when I ran this ad before this, I wasn't aware of it. So I made a mistake over there. So I'm, I'm sharing this with you so that you don't make that mistake. Right. So let's give it a name. Uh, you can call it name, uh, uh, company name, uh, internship, all right? And then uh, value, you can leave it alone because you're not, you're not, they're not customers, okay? Then you can just click create. Again, I'm not going to actually create this because I've already done it, so I'm not going to create it, all right? So mine is called Miss Mansor hyphen internship. That's the name of my company over here, Miss Mansor, all right? So click create, and you should have this thing created over here. So that's the next step. After that, you want to go to audiences. And we're going to create a custom audience for retargeting. I think retargeting is really helpful because not everybody makes a decision right away and you want to maximize it because you don't want to be spending a lot of money uh, looking for interns. I mean, you're going to have to pay them later anyway. But I think interns are really good manpower when you have like some uh, recurring uh, things that you need temporary manpower and uh, for a short period of time. So this is really good. Okay. So go to audiences. If you don't know how to go here, you just basically click here, all tools and look for audiences. It's under assets. All right. So you arrive at a page like this. And again, you see, I've already created this before, but I'm going to do this from scratch and show you how it's done. So click create audience, custom audience. Okay. Select website traffic. Now, what you want to do is you want to select this thing called uh, your correct pixel. Okay, so my one is called Museman, so that's the name of my company again. Include people who have met all of the following criteria. So, what I like to do is I'll select the people who visit specific web pages 
and I'll put it in the past seven days because I think anything more than seven days, they're clearly not interested. You don't want to keep boring people with the same app over and over again. So obviously they're not interested anymore, all right? So I'm gonna put seven days, I think that's good enough. And again, you put the address of your internship page, okay? So after that, you're gonna click uh, exclude. My bad, okay, click exclude. All web visitors in the past seven days again, and people who visit a specific web page. So this one, you're gonna put the thank you page, all right? So what happens is that the people who have gone to the internship page, but have not signed up or, or, or submitted their application, they will continue to see this app. But once they have uh, gone through the application, then they will not see the ad again. And this is good because you will not have to annoy them over and over again, even though they have already applied. So you just name it uh, anything you want, but I just like to call it Mills Mensa Internships because it's easier to see what this is all about. And then of course you can give it a description, people who are interested in the internship uh, program, all right? And once you're done, you click Create Audience. Now again, I'm not gonna do it here because I've already done it, as you can see here. This is how I had set up my uh, custom audience. Then this is gonna be useful for retargeting afterwards. So if the steps don't make sense at the moment, don't worry, it will shortly. So next step, we're gonna prepare the Facebook ads. Now, you can write on the spot, but personally, I like to uh, prepare the text document like what you're seeing here right now and the, and the images uh, in advance so that when I get to the editing afterwards or the, the ads manager, I can just get straight to the point. So I'll just show you real quick. Uh, I wrote my Facebook ad post. This is the content here. I wrote it in text and I like writing in text because it's a lot faster anyway, okay? So this is how I wrote it. I'm not gonna get into the whole copy and how it's done and all that. I'll leave it up to your creativity, but you wanna basically give, uh, make people feel excited why they should sign up with you on an internship program or why not somewhere else. All right, this are most of the time you're gonna be appealing to young people, the young generation. Um, they don't just want to pass time, they want to make sure that this is really exciting, whether it's for a school holiday or they need to fulfill a college uh, obligation and things like that, okay? And then you need to create the Facebook ad. Now, I'm not gonna uh, talk so much about creating the image, but let's say you do not know how to use pictures whatsoever, you can always use canva.com, uh, put in the pictures, put in the logo, and just put the words here. All right, but make sure the text is no more than 20% of the picture. And as you can see, this is a very simple picture. I just took our, our group photo, put a logo here and the words internship opportunity. It's really simple. You don't have to overthink this part. So once you get the creative ready, uh, the second creative you want to create is this thing called retargeting. All right, now retargeting, you can do it uh, in a different way where people who have been to your website but didn't take any action, you can come up with a follow-up advertisement like what you're seeing here. So in this case, my retargeting ad is basically I was sharing a testimonial from a past intern and I said Sports Unlimited, here are the full details. Again, if you don't have any testimonials from a past intern, so you have this the first time you're doing it, then don't worry. You can always rephrase the Facebook ad in a different way, okay? So it's just worded slightly different, but at the end of the day, you want people to uh, check out your industry opportunity and of course sign up. Okay, so I have at least two ads over here. Next step, finally, we are gonna go to the creating the campaigns, all right? This is the, the, the last step and we're, I'm gonna go through it. This is, this is the part where uh, you gotta create. So I've already done this one here, but I'm gonna create a dummy one here just for a uh, purpose of example and I'll show you how to do it, okay? So we're gonna create our first campaign here, all right? We choose conversions and let's give it a name. So normally I like to give it a company name and I'll just call it internship. So I'm gonna call it test internship for now. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna delete it afterwards, but this is just a test for you, okay? Click continue. Okay, so now you're gonna create your first ad set, all right? Now you will come to the ad set name afterwards this is normally what I deal with later. So right now, uh, conversion. Now you might have nothing going on here or something going on here, but I want you to choose the pixel that we had uh, created just now for the custom conversion. So remember we created this thing called Muse Mensor Internship. Um, it should be here, all right? So what this does basically is that 
when people take a specific action, then Facebook will, uh, ads will record it. All right. So next up, offer. We'll skip that. Audience. Okay. So here's an interesting part. Okay. The custom audience will leave it alone. Location. Now, this is a very location-driven business, and, I, and I, you don't want interns from just like anywhere anyway. So you want to put everyone who live, people who live in this location. All right. Before this, I put everyone in this location, and I found out that there's been people who have uh, applied, but they were from outstation or from another city or they're from another state. And uh, I don't want that because uh, they were going to have problems coming here. So you want people who live in this location, all right? So this is my country, Malaysia, but obviously it's too too broad. So I put the name of my city, Pataling Jaya, all right? So obviously this is going to be a city, okay? Doesn't matter where, where you are, you could be in uh, Singapore or anywhere. And you want to put it in the smallest radius possible. The lowest it can go is just 10 miles, all right? Okay, so you want people around your area. Now, age. This is interesting. Now I like to keep it to a young age. I put it like maybe 19 to 24 years old. All right. It's totally up to you. But, you know, people who normally go for internship opportunity, they're usually around this age, like 19 to 24 years old. Um, gender, all. All right. Uh, language, it's totally up to your uh, native language, but I because we deal with everything in English, so I'm going to put English all, all right? I don't just want anybody, English all. And now, here's the detailed targeting. This is going to be interesting here. So for interest, I normally just put internship and uh, part-time job, okay? Or if you want to just expand a little bit more than part-time jobs, all right? So as you can see here, we've got like one point, it this can reach potentially 1.4 million people, but uh, I want to be more specific. So because we are an internet marketing company, uh, obviously I want people who are interested in that as well. So I'm going to put narrow audience and uh, I'll just put in a few more, because since we're an internet marketing company, so I'll just put email marketing. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, online advertising. Okay, so you can see that basically the, the more you, you do here, uh, let's see if you're interested in entrepreneurship. All right, so what this does is that the detail targeting must be someone who's at least interested in either one of this, like internship or a part-time job, and then another one, it must also match either one of this as well. All right, so expand interest, well, well I think that we don't need it. All right. Now, as you can see here, the potential reach has dropped dramatically from 1.4 million to like 39,000 people, which to me, that's fine. You don't need so many interns anyway. That, that's my guess. Like us, we got 10 applications. We're only going to hire like maybe two people uh, tops, just like that. All right. And 10 is a good number. We interview all of them and two people will just pick, pick from them and off you go. And how's that for $40, $40 or less? Okay. So connection type, we'll leave this alone. Placements, all right? I like to add, put edit placements because I'm going to be specific about where I'm targeting. So there's not going to be a right-hand column. Uh, Instagram feed, that's okay, but they don't have to appear on stories. Audience network, not required. Messenger, not required. So I'm really, really targeted about where I'm showing the opportunities, either feeds, uh, instant article, or, or Instagram feed, okay? So I already have these three boxes ticked, all right? Now, if you want to put in on more places, like right column order, you can be my guest, but because my Facebook ad post is a little bit long, I think it only makes sense that this will be selected. And I don't even have a video for this. If you want to do video, then cool, you can go for that. Uh, you can then leverage like Instagram stories and so on, but let's just keep it simple for now, okay? That's the whole purpose here. All right, as for this, I'm going to leave it alone. That's not required. Daily budget, or oh, you don't really need a lot. Just put five bucks a day, okay? Uh, but I advise you have this run for a week because you don't expect immediate results right away. In fact, it started to improve in the, like, the next half of the week uh, because Facebook takes time to learn about what your uh, targeting is like and then uh, people uh, might take a while to notice about your advertisement as well, okay? Next up, conversions, seven-day click. We'll leave it alone. We'll leave all this alone, okay? Let's click continue. All right, sorry, I need to backtrack a little bit. Just remembered something. We haven't given this ad set a name yet. Now, normally I like to give it a proper name. Uh, you just give this name. So normally I just give it a name like maybe um, 19 to 24 years old, male, female, 
uh, I'm targeting an internship uh, keyword, all right? So this is an edited placement, so I'll just put uh, Facebook IG, all right? So again, there's no hard and fast rule how you want to name the ad set name, but I like to name it this way so that I know what the ad is all about, okay? So that's just my style of naming. You can follow it as well. Now let's create the ad, okay? So obviously you want to cre create, uh, add your Facebook fan page here. This is mine. If you have an Instagram account and you're using it, then you'll add it here as well, all right? The format will be single image. That's good enough. And then you have to add the, the image here. So you upload it, but for my case, because I already have the image here, so I'm just going to uh, add it here as well. Oh, I see it's not here. So, okay, cool. I'm going to add the image. Okay. So, this is how the ad will look like. Now, let's, let's look at what you're going to add in the text. So, remember I wrote this all in the uh, text notepad. All right. So I normally write, like to write my, my ads here because if I write over here, it's going to take a bit of a time and you know the, the editor might load a little bit slow. So I like to write a text notepad. I'll just paste it here. Okay. So cool. We have it here. And there's a website URL. So when people click on the, the picture or here, they need to know where they're going to. So you put the link of your uh, internship page here as well. Okay. So... Headline, I'll just like to call it uh, internship opportunity or, or, or internship program, all right? Call to action, you can put a button if you like, like learn more, apply now, it's totally up to you. But just know that when you put a call to action button here, then it's going to take up some space over here. So the words here get a little bit shorter as well, all right? If you're okay with that, then cool. Now, display link, uh, that's going to be the, the website. You can leave it alone. News feed link is basically these words over here. So maybe I'll just put... Uh, Spots are limited uh, to this uh, amazing internship program, but it's totally up to you, all right? I wrote something like this in the original app, okay? So if you want to preview it, you can see how it looks like in mobile, uh, desktop, and so on, okay? So if you like the looks of it right now, then cool. So once you're done, just double check everything. I think this looks good. Uh, I'm like to give it a name here, so I don't like call it default name conversions. I don't like give it like three at one or something like that. Okay, I want to delete it this afterwards, like I said. All right, but I just want to show you how this works. So click confirm, and your ad will be on approval. Okay, so it takes a while to publish it, and you see the ad that's being published as well. So it's the campaign. Let's just give it some time. All right. So if you click on ad sets, it's here. And the ad is, oh, it says ongoing, but usually it takes a while to, to uh, be reviewed, especially if you're doing it the first time, all right? So once you're done with that, now we're gonna recreate another ad. So what I like to do here is I like to create a different ad set, a new one, because it's gonna be a different message, all right? So you have one ad going, and now let's create a retargeting ad set. So let's create, and here, I'm quite specific about what it is, so I'm going to call it retargeting in the ad set name, right? So retargeting is, again, for people who have been to the site, didn't sign up, and then they just leave, okay? So pixels the same. I'll choose back the same one. My case is called Muse Mensa Internship. Uh, now, this is where it gets interesting. Custom audience, you're going to select the one that we have created just now. So for my case, it's called Muse Mensa Internship. People who've been to the site and not do anything, and they, they left, all right? Location. Uh, because it's only targeting those people, you can leave it alone, or in my case, you can totally remove it. It's totally up to you. But if you want to be really specific, then maybe you can put back uh, your state or uh, the country, all right? But in this case, I'm going to just put everybody, leave it alone, all right? Now, ages, you can actually, theoretically, you can leave it alone, but because this is an internship opportunity, I want to just limit this to the young people, all right? Again, maybe 19 to 24 years old, again, gender, everybody, uh, language even though it's english but i'll just leave it leave it alone right now all right you can put it here if you want all right now the purpose of this is very simple okay we're creating a retargeting campaign all right now you can leave this alone you can leave this untick this and let's go down the placements let's leave it the same again uh we don't need all this right now i'm quite specific about who i'm targeting we'll leave it the same 
And the daily budget, you can just leave it at $5 again or even $3 for the matter because retargeting is cheap, right? You, you, won't, you, won't, you won't be actually spending this money uh, to the fullest every day. You're probably only going to spend like maybe $1 or less depending on how much traffic you're getting, okay? But you can even like put $3 if that, if that bothers you. But I'll tell you, you're not going to spend this whole thing, all right? Conversions, all this, all right, we'll leave it alone. Continue, all right? Retargeting is, is cheap. It's dirt cheap, all right? Ad set name, I'll just call it retargeting again. And now we're going to create a different ad, okay? Facebook page, Instagram account is the same. Now, here, if you're going to use a different picture whatsoever, you can go for it. So in this case, I have uh, a testimonial and I had done this before, so I'm going to use an existing picture. So this is a testimonial of a past intern and I'm going to use another ad copy here and do this. Like I said, you don't want to... Uh, uh, be too repetitive and if you don't have a, a past testimonial that's okay you can just reword it differently from a different angle okay so that's the post website url again maybe you can call it a uh, internship program you can call it any nice name you want okay uh call to action um apply now all right if you don't want it here that's okay as well that, that would leave a little bit more space for you to write here okay display link is the same you can say maybe uh, sports are going away fast. Apply now. Okay, you can't really write a lot here. You see, even this is a desktop uh, with, with more space possible and you can't write too much, okay? So you let this uh, medium-sized post explain the story. And there you go. So once you're done, well, let's just click review. You want to be sure what you're doing, all right? It says save the draft, but we're going to confirm that, okay? And then we click publish. And there you go. It's, it's, that's how simple it is. I basically just recreated the uh, campaign where you can look for interns just like that, this is the, the formula I, I've been using, all right? And sometimes if you don't like the uh, the results or that, the few things you want to look at, maybe it's the, the internship page itself, maybe it's not that good uh, uh, if the traffic is fine, all right? And sometimes maybe you want to have a look at the, uh, you want to tweak this approach a little bit with the ad set, like the, the targeting. Now, I find this to work just fine, but maybe this part could use a bit of changes, that's okay. I change this a little bit sometimes uh, if the response is not really that good, okay? But generally, this is the way to go and the retargeting campaign is for those people who have been to the site and not done anything yet so they might need a little bit of, uh, of convincing maybe they're busy at a time or they got carried away all right so that's all there's to it hope you find this useful